Welcome, I'm Robin. Welcome to day 10 of Cultivate Patience, Introduction to Ashtanga. Today we add in Utita Parshvokanasana, Extended Side Angle Pose, to our standing sequence. So come to stand at the top of our mat, the way we've been doing, building endurance, working on our strength and our flexibility. So your feet can be together or your feet can be wider, but have your pinky side edges of your feet parallel. Gently lift up your kneecaps, engage those quadricep muscles, pull up and in your belly, your Uddiyana Bandha. Soften your shoulders and maybe close your eyes. Feeling your long spine. Your slow and steady breath. And then bring your hands to heart center in prayer. You can repeat the opening mantra to yourself or you can take an intention or a dedication for your practice. We'll seal this in with the sound of Om. Inhale. Om. Exhale, release your hands. Sama Sitihi, and step to the front of your mat. This will be the front of my mat again today. I have my blocks positioned at the back of our back of my mat if you want to use blocks or have a chair or something a little higher nearby but you don't need anything. So in your equal standing pose we will begin with Surya Namaskar A. Inhale arms up. Exhale hinge from your hips and fold and if you want blocks under your hands you can grab them for the front of your mat. Inhale half lift lengthen. Exhale step back to plank. Lower to your belly or to low push-up position. Inhale, peel your chest up for a cobra with your thighs down or an up dog. Exhale, down dog. Take five breaths. Externally rotating your upper arm bones. as you press into your finger pads and the base of your hand, the base of each finger. You put a bend in your knees and pedal your heels. Maybe shake your head. And then look forward to your hands and step or hop forward if you're ready and take that half lift to lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, hands down, Samastitihi. Again, inhale, arms up. Exhale, hinge forward. Inhale, half lift, lengthen. Exhale, step back to plank. Maybe the other foot goes back or you're hopping back into Chaturanga. You can always lower to your belly or go right to down dog and skip the vinyasa. Replacing down dog with staying on all fours and taking cat cow. We're coming to a child's pose. Making this practice accessible for your body where it is right today. Two more breaths. Exhale, 
One more. Look forward to your hands and step forward, or hop forward. Take that half lift, lengthening your spine. And exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, hands by your side, samasthiti. Again, last one today. Inhale, arms up one. Exhale, hinge forward from your hip crease, two. Inhale, half lift, lengthen, three. Exhale, chaturanga, four. Inhale, up dog, five. Exhale, down dog, six. Five breaths. Lifting up your kneecaps, engaging those quadricep muscles. As you spiral your inner thighs back and an internal rotation of your thigh bones. One more breath here. And then look forward and maybe bend your knees and hop forward and take a half look. Seven. Exhale, fold in half, eight. Inhale, rise all the way up, nine. Exhale, hands down, samasthiti. All right, Surya Namaskar B. Bend your knees, maybe coming low, sweeping the floor. Arm shoulder distance, <laughs> weight in your heels or together. Exhale, fold in half. Your feet can be together or any distance. Inhale, half lift, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, urdhva mukha. Exhale, adho mukha svanasana. Step your right foot forward, pivot your back heel down, right knee over your ankle, rise up, warrior one, virabhadrasana. Exhale, hands down, and go through your flow. Connecting your movement to your breath. Exhale, down dog. Left side, step your left foot forward, left knee over your ankle, torso faces forward. Exhale, hands down, and vinyasa. Not holding your breath. Letting it focus you. Keep you present on your mat. And then look forward, step or hop forward. Take that half lift and fold as you exhale. Bend your knees, arms up, chair pose. And stand tall, samasthiti. All right, one more like that. Bend your knees, arms up, chair pose. Exhale, fold in half, uttanasana. Inhale, half lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adho Mukha. Right foot steps forward. Rise up, Virabhadrasana A, or one. Exhale, hands down to the mat, and Vinyasa. Left foot steps forward. You can be going faster or slower than I am. Rise up as you inhale. Exhale, hands down. Moving with your breath like a dance.
taking five breaths in your down dog. Feeling that crease at your hips. A nice stretch in the whole back body. Lots of space around your neck. One more breath here. And then look forward and step or hop forward. Half lift, lengthen, Ardha. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Bend your neck, knees, Utkatasana, chair. Stand tall, Samastitihi. All right, hopefully you're feeling warm in your body. So the first couple of poses of the standing sequence, we stay right here, as you remember. Step or hop your feet six inches apart or two fists. Place your hands on your hips. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hinge from the hips. Reach your heart forward. Pull your belly up and in. Your weight comes in towards the balls of your feet. Grab your um, peace fingers around your big toes with your thumb as a bottle cap. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. So if your hamstrings are tight like mine, you can have a bend in your knees as you lift your sitting bones up. If you cannot touch your toes, your hands can be on your ankles or on your shins. Retracting your shoulder blades. and gently stretching the backs of your legs without forcing it. And then inhale, half lift, lengthen. You can repeat that, whichever version you were doing, or slide your hands underneath your wrists, Padahastasana. Inhale for length, and exhale, fold. Maybe giving your wrists a little massage with your toes. As you reach your elbows to both sides of the room and feel that long spine, that steady breath, even in this deep fold. And then inhale, half lift, lengthen. Exhale, bring your hands to your hips. Inhale, rise up. And if you want to step or hop your feet together, you can, or keep them hip distance. All right, Utita Trikonasana Triangle Pose. I'm not going to mirror you today, so you just take your right foot, step it back behind you, so that you start off with your feet parallel to the short ends of your mat, and then rotate this right leg so that your knee, your ankle, and your toes all face the right. And if you want to take a block, you can place it behind your right ankle. Stretch your arms out, bump your left hip to the back, reach, 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 and hinge. So you can rest your hand on your leg and sweep your left arm up. You can keep your gaze down. You can use a block or something a little bit higher. As you lengthen through both sides of the waist, not putting too much pressure on whatever you're holding onto, your leg or your block. And opening up through the chest, whether the arm is up or down. One more breath here. And then soften that front knee. Inhale, rise back up. Turn your right toes in, turn your left leg so it faces the front of your mat. And if you're using a block, take it with you. Bump your right hip to the back, reach, 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 and hinge. So where, see where you can take it on this side, lengthening the side waist. If you wanna take your hand to your big toe, and you have that flexibility, you can, but you're really reaching the crown of your head away from your hips. 
lifting up your kneecaps, feeling that stretch in your hamstrings. And then inhale, rise back up, keep your arms active. Pivot your left foot in again, pivot your right leg to face the back. So we're coming into the revolved version, Paravrita Trikonasana. So you're going to take your um, left hand, keep your right hand on your right hip, your left hand up. Turn your torso so you're starting to spiral as you're reaching forward. Lengthening just like we were doing in the regular triangle pose. And you can adjust the distance in between your feet if that feels better. Take that left hand to a block on the pinky side edge of your foot or to the floor or just hold it up. And then reach your right arm up or keep it down. So notice the balance in this posture as you press into your right big toe, trying to keep your hips level to the mat and spiraling from above your navel. It's too much, come on the inside of the foot as we practiced yesterday. And then to look down to exit, inhale, rise back up. Careful of your props, pivot your right foot in, your left leg to the back. Same thing, second side. Reach your right arm up, squaring your hips, reaching that left hip crease back as you hinge forward. Now, like Padangustasana, but your legs are apart. And then take that right hand to the outside of that front foot or the inside if that's where you feel you can go today. Spiraling your torso, maybe reaching that left arm up. And the block, if you have one, has three heights. Maybe looking up at your thumb or looking down for more balance. And then inhale, come back up. Parallel the feet, extend the arms, and then step or hop your feet together. We come back to the starting position, Samasthiti. All right, the new posture, Utita Parshvokanasana extended side angle, which is similar to what we just did in triangle, but it's a little bit of a wider stance. So step your right foot back, just as we did parallel feet. Rotate this right leg, but have your feet a little bit wider, roughly your wrists over your ankles. And then bend that right knee, so your right knee is right over your ankle, and you're pressing into the pinky side edge of your back foot with heel to arch alignment. Now the first place you can go is to just take your right, not just, but you could take your right forearm to your right thigh and lift your left arm up. Lengthening through the side body and taking that right, those right ribs and drawing them up towards the ceiling. If this feels okay, you can also take your hand in Ashtanga, it's on the outside of the front foot, pressing into the block or the floor with your hand on your hip, straight up as it was with before, or taking your hand and taking a big circle and stretching it over your head with your palm facing the mat. An external rotation of your upper arm bone. Staying here for five breaths, two more. Hugging that right hip underneath you. And then inhale, lift up, arms active. Pivot your right foot in, your left leg goes to the front of the mat. Same thing, bending the left knee over your ankle. You could take your left forearm to your left thigh and Sweep your right arm up, revolving your torso, maybe looking up. Or you could take your hand to the outside of that front foot. 
maybe just resting your hand on your leg, putting it up or taking a big sweep and taking it over your ear. External rotation, but keeping the shoulder away from the ear. Seeing where you want to put your gaze. Lengthening from your fingertips out through the pinky side edge of that right foot. One more breath. And then inhale, slowly come up. That's where we're going to stop today. Let me turn around. But from here, we would then take the revolved version, which is what we're going to do tomorrow. So notice how you feel in your body. Heel toe your feet together or hop your feet gently together. Feel the energy within. Pulling your belly in, lifting your pelvic floor muscles up. We're going to be flowing down to the mat. Let's take a side stretch first. So your feet any distance apart. Inhale, reach your arms up. Lower your right hand down. Take a side bend. Inhale, back to center. This is not traditional. I'm adding it in. Side bend to the left. Inhale, back to center. Coming to the front of your mat. Exhale, fold. Shake your head. Inhale, half lift, lengthen. Exhale, step back. You can go through your vinyasa. I'm going to choose to do that today. Or you can go right to down dog. Just noticing how this down dog feels from before the standing sequence. Slowing down your breath in this calming posture. One more breath here. And then look forward to your hands. You can come to your knees or you can start to jump through. Move this out of the way. Crossing your ankles, bending your knees and maybe sliding your body through all the way through. Then we're going to lie down on our backs and take a short Shavasana. Just letting all the work that we just did, moving our spine in all those directions. Working with all these muscles of your body. Now letting your breath just soothe your mind. You could stay here as long as you need. 
And if you're ready to come back, you can invite movements into your hands and your feet. Maybe reaching your arms over your head. And then rolling to one side. And pausing. Noticing how you feel. Connecting back to an intention or dedication. Slowly press yourself up to a seat if you're coming up. Just noticing how you feel in your hips. Those standing postures of the Utita Trikonasana, the triangle, and the new one for today, Utita Parshvakonasana, side angle. Really open up that external rotation of the hip. So see if you can feel that. I've been putting blog posts in the description box for each day, linking to a blog post in the description box, I should say. So check that out if you're interested in learning more about the details of a posture. Take your hands to heart center. With a lot of gratitude for this practice, your breath, your body. We will close with a sound of Om. Inhale. Om. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Thank you so much for being here today. Let me know in the comments how you're enjoying the series, progressing day by day, how it's feeling in your body. Anything at all you'd like to tell me, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I hope to see you tomorrow where we revolve our side angle pose.